Writing code is one thing, but testing and deploying to production is a lot of work. With Buddy, you can create custom delivery pipelines that build, test, and deploy your React app automatically on a push to a branch in your repo. Let's see how you can quickly create such a pipeline. First, choose your Git provider. Buddy lets you create pipelines for Git projects hosted with GitHub, Bitbucket, or GitLab. Choose the repo with your code, and you're set. If you don't have your Git setup ready yet, you can host your code with Buddy Git Hosting. Got your own thing going? We've got you covered. Next, time to add a pipeline. You can name it whatever you want and choose the branch from which Buddy will fetch the code. Then there are the trigger modes. They're essential in defining the character of your pipeline. Manual makes your pipeline run only when you explicitly tell it to. On push is synonymous with speed and automation. The pipeline runs whenever it detects that new changes are pushed to the branch you defined. You can also run the pipeline recurrently, that is on specific time intervals. Now that you added the pipeline, it's time to define what it does. In Buddy, you define what pipelines do to your code through actions, customizable building blocks designed to handle different tasks. For a simple React pipeline, it's enough to add just four actions to take care of everything. First, an ODJS action. It takes npm commands, just like the terminal on your local machine does. Add npm install, npm test, and npm run build. To install the app dependencies, run tests defined in package.json and build the app. If any of these steps fail, the entire pipeline stops, so it's impossible to release an app that doesn't pass tests. Then, after the app is built and tested, let Buddy transfer the files to a server. FTP, SFTP, FTPS, you name it, we've got it. Prefer hosting with providers like AWS, Netlify or DigitalOcean? There are dedicated actions for that purpose as well. Once you get the app on the server, you can restart it using the SSH action. Enter the commands you want to execute in the terminal and configure authentication details. Last but not least, let's configure notifications sent out after the app is deployed. You can choose from any of the available integrations, including Slack, Telegram, and Microsoft Teams. You can also use regular email or even SMS if you fancy that. Now, all that's left to do is pushing changes to the branch you defined. That's how easy it is to start with Buddy. But this is just the beginning.